Hey everybody, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I don't know why, but I've been listening to, um, I've been listening to playlists on Spotify, uh, like the Billboard Top 100 songs from 1989 and up, and I've, I'm, I'm, I'm in 1995 right now, and so, um, I don't know why I started doing that. Uh, I think it's because it, it's a little bit of inspiration. Um, I'm, I'm a musician and I think one of the things is like that I first, you know, I, I'm kind of going back to like the things that first got me involved in music and, and excited about music. So um, I've been enjoying that. Uh, there's a lot of um, a lot of really good R&B and hip hop back then. Um, starting to get into more of the rock that I liked when I started to get into more rock music. Um, and um, but it's it's been really fun. Um, so today's episode, I wanted to share some books with you. I'm gonna probably do that. I'm I'm probably gonna do that um, often. Um, I love books. I love getting books from like the library. My wife will tell you that I love to get cookbooks from the library and I probably have way too many checked out. These two in particular I wanted to share with you because they are like probably my favorite that I have right now. And the first is Plant, plant Power way Italia by Rich Roll and Julia Piat. They are married. I believe they're married. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Rich Roll's the one that I know the most. He's written some other books. He's a like uh, New York Times bestseller. Um, he has a really cool story. Um, he was kind of like having a midlife crisis, dealt with alcoholism, lots of things, and just turned all of that 180 degrees as a podcast um, that I listen to frequently. I think the thing that sticks out to me with this book is um, it is uh, it's just gorgeous. It's uh, it's got beautiful, beautiful pictures. There's this there's this picture on the front. I don't know if you can see it, but it's um, it's just a massive table and people are eating together, like it's just having a big dinner and I just like, I daydream about that kind of stuff, so. And, uh, and the food just looks stunning. I would hand this to somebody that is not plant-based, not vegan, and I would say, I dare you, <laughs> you know, um, say that doesn't look good. There's a lot of nut cheese recipes that um, I've, I've kind of um, been off of my nut cheese game, but I'm looking forward to getting back into that. I've been doing a lot of stuff with, uh, if, if you don't know, there's a thing called seitan, not to be confused with. It's basically a high protein, f uh, it's, the high, it's the protein from the flour. Um, it is like this dough, it, it, a flour that makes a dough, and you can season it all different ways. And if you season it right, it tastes freaking amazing. My wife thinks I have become really good at it. Um, I think I've gotten pretty good at it myself, uh, personally speaking. Anywho, nut cheeses. He does a lot of nut cheeses in that book. Um, which I'm excited about getting back into. Um, but if, if you do it right, you actually put it through a fermentation process, which is great, because then it has a similar kind of um, umami kind of sensation, and it's, it's just fantastic. The next book is Raw Vegan Not Gross, and um, this is by Laura Miller, and I love the title, first of all, because I have had some raw food that's kind of, um, hard to get through. 
it's just hard. It's like when you have raw vegetables, it's kind of like, hmm. And not everything's cooked. Like, I like to think there's a reason that we developed cooking, but, um, uh, but this is, this is a cool book. This is, um, uh, I've, I've followed Laura, um, on YouTube for a while and I love, um, I love her content on YouTube. Um, she's super funny. Um, this book was really cool because it, it, um, I really actually, there's some cookbooks you just read the recipes. Um, this one I actually read more into like the line, like the, the notes in between. And, uh, I, I really enjoyed that because she, she talked a lot of, she told her story. She, um, opened up about her eating disorders and, and, and how, and her, um, different body image issues to being a successful chef and um, and content creator. There was a lot of recipes that I would say a lot of these recipes are ones that if I wanted to kind of um, clean up a little bit um, my eating habits for a little bit this this would be the book that I would if I was gonna kind of detox a little bit this is what I would choose it's not too crazy um, strict so question for the video going back to the music thing what was like your first favorite pop song that you heard over the radio I know for me it was probably I think Michael Jackson bad was probably it uh, that was Man, that was that was uh, that was my jam back in the day. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next week.